construction is very difficult. Deciding what plants to put is difficult and deciding how to sell these plants is very, very critical. Mm. Then we started seeing plants dying. Patience is important in this. Yeah. Understanding e-seasonally, the, is it the right thing to do or is it not the best thing and let's go for something a little more... So there was like, multiple problems, right? <laughs> 100%. Oh, and we keep, we keep thinking about, you know, let us increase the TDS, let us increase the pH and nothing will work because the roots are dead. So. Namaskara everyone and uh, uh, today we have a very interesting uh, interactive session, you know, experience sharing session with uh, Vinod. He has a, a big urban farm, you know, around 12,000 square feet, if I'm not wrong, uh, right. in Nelmangla, Bengaluru. And um, uh, I will let him uh, talk about uh, his farm, but uh, it is around 32,000 uh, uh, plant capacity and he grows different things, you know. I just uh, thank him for uh, attending this session and uh, uh, agreeing to uh, uh, you know share his experience <laughs> because it's very much needed nowadays. Uh, many people are wondering whether to do it or not, and you know what are the challenges we face, etc. So 100%. please, you know, the, tell tell us about your farm and uh, uh, when you started and why why you started. <laughs> uh, mainly, yeah. Uh, so. Uh... Hi all, my name is Vinod and we are uh, three people, uh, all friends, co college friends. So we we basically uh, all from Bangalore, we were just roaming around and one one point we thought, you know, alone could a land be there, why don't we use the land better and, you know, do something about it. That was the first understanding and said, land is there, what do we do with it? So, you know, none of us had any idea about uh, these things. So we started researching for a good one, one and a half year, we researched about it. Now, first to Jarbara planting, and then we figured out that the most sensible thing is uh, looking to the future. So, we understood hydrophonics. We understood about what the system is, what the hydrophonics stands for, uh, benefits of hydrophonics. And we started attending sessions all across andre you now uh, international sessions were attended by the india del nadira nakai sessions attended by we we saw how african countries are doing it <clears throat> we saw how european countries are doing it andre hogi alla like mostly through video chats and that all and then we figured out, okay this seems like a good opportunity try madana and said we started all this in fact uh, this started on somewhere around 2021 only is where we got to know about um, you know, uh, and that's where we started hydrophonics properly. And then one year we just and then we started uh, implementing it in 2022. Uh, we started constructing polios, uh, con polios construction, we brought people, but rest of the things we planned everything ourselves because we thought, let's go from zero itself and not on extra matting So we planned everything. We worked with, uh, you know, people who know about this consultants and we built the entire farm with laborers, Ali, Gare Kelsa Urnalait Kondo. We did it uh, by procuring products and everything. So we were successful enough in only building these things, but we took a long time to construct. And once we constructed, we were uh, dealing with 10,000 problems after that because each one had its own problems. And that's when I am you know, reached out to Guru as well to help us out in uh, certain aspects. So the journey starts from first understanding we have something, let's do something out of it. And then understanding what is the right thing looking in future. And the future was always saying hydrophonics. So that's how it is. Thank you. So uh, I know initially we faced a lot of problems, right? I know uh, that's what you also faced and everyone faces. Yeah, them. everybody. Even it's a small scale or big scale or whatever. Big scale has more problems and small scale has uh, maybe lesser problems. And Correct. big scale problems are more expensive, you know. <laughs> so Correct. that's when we used, you know, I, I visited uh, his farm, you know, several times. And uh, he, and in fact, Vivek, you know, I did one interview also uh, with Vivek Correct. in Correct. his farm, you know, in your Correct. farm long back. So what challenges uh, you faced uh, initially? So right from the first setup, see, even though now on Solpa, we took a very careful steps. Seri Namu Gotai Titrophonics, Enge, Yenuanta, we didn't jump in. We took time to research about all the possible ways that we can do this. Andre, uh, Yestra Matag, we can keep the cost less and make the production better and a concept in the Netraim Madadwe. And, you know, we researched about who all 
ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಸೆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ನಾವು ಯಾರು ಕೊಡೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇವತ್ತು ವಿ ಡಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಕೊಡೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಗರ್ಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಹೂ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಆರ್ we can contact them easily all our amazon big best and the dot dot players so mm. they don't deal with us so we f- we felt okay players idare anta gotayitu is kodak jana idare anta gotayitu we felt okay they were mad na i think there is a possibility of doing this and then we understood the players first sellers gotayitu then we thought let's construct mada denge not the biggest construct problem within namge mm. we found the polios mad or gotayitu then we gave uh, support to them in getting the polios done but after that everything we had to deal ourselves uh, right from planning plumbing right from planning what should be put inside uh, there is something called as nft technique right all these are different different methods mm. deciding what to go was the biggest challenge yeah. and who are we to define uh, anything we, we don't have prior experience so ella dunu internet al odi we took a decision of going with nft and felt that is the best possible way and theri kai aki then we did it we bought it from salem tamil nadu and all and we did it uh, planning maadi ella madidvi so challenge is one constructing big time is very big challenge hmm. deciding how to do it is another big challenge and then deciding what to put on these uh method is like a very difficult choice but uh since we have majority of the people in and around the world decided certain things can be grown in these methods we went with the common understanding of that let you sandre id madadre namu profit ide annatu so we went with those challenges so construction alone i would say is very difficult sensible people or let's say sulpa amount uh, you have a lot of exp- Uh, you know disposable money handing over to somebody as a turnkey project is sensible but you have to you know believe in what they're saying because not everybody has the same intention in business some people right. want to take as much as possible from you and do it off so construction is very difficult deciding what plans to put is difficult and deciding how to sell these plans is very very critical mm, right yeah definitely i mean during growing process that's what you know i want newcomers to understand you know um, who are who are in this uh, you know meeting so uh, earlier uh, i mean uh, how we think right in a small scale it's different in large scale i used to tell you know that you know don't don't use uh, you know uh, coco discs correct because, correct uh, you know uh, in fact uh, i wanted him to use uh, clay balls but right. uh, his his uh, challenge was you know if he does that you know he has to employ so many employees right you know to correct. fill the correct. cups so he preferred uh, going for uh, you know coco disc <laughs> that will cost 2 rupees for him but still it was faster for him so such correct. things you will understand only when you start doing it and also uh, i would like to talk about you know marketing challenges that's that's correct. the biggest challenge correct. that we all correct. face right <laughs> so um, like what else you faced you know during i mean after growing and uh, each, each step diseases, we had a diseases, problem right this is also there were lots Correct. of problems right? big time so i'll i'll start with now first to you know first challenge and everything a construction was a very big difficult seriya hmm. dengo maadi we took around if i'm not wrong uh 3 months something like that to finish that Hmm. ideally it will take uh, you know less time only but since we were doing it it took time 3 right. months and 3 to 4 months alle utagutte and then once you complete construction then you start planting seeds seeds el tagolodu anna thumba mukya yav tara seeds tagontivi which which company you buy and from where you buy matters a lot right. so seeds decision tagolodu was very critical for us but luckily people now you have people like guru and all supporting this information so easy ak sikkodbodu so seeds maabudtivi and then came the problem for us the first problem we started was root rot uh, especially spinach chel namge so it was somewhere on march april and sate correct april alli so we were going to put all this uh, seeds and everything and then we started seeing plants dying very soon germination alle i mean like yenappa idu ishtu i mean uh, certain seeds are fine certain seeds are not good uniformity ne illa adralli and then mm. we figured out that there could be some problem and we started understanding how to you know uh, supply water first of all there is a method for everything uh, you know germination stage alli dip madbeka spray madbeka ಯಾವ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಂದ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ಒಳಗೆ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇದನ್ನ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೇ ಒನ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹುಡುಗರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ದೇ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ
and not check if there is some sprouting at all <laughs> they completely and unless i am there i open it and see every day nobody used to do it and my farm was little big so what happens is i have to check close to 200 trays if they have done it correctly <laughs> that means supervisor plays a very important role True. somebody True. has to take ownership to say let me open and see if these are in the right place so they didn't so first two are they albit the second how are they spraying water they were spraying with uh, you know whatever method they knew um, even though we had given them you know a certain tools for it yet they tanginge aagtidro that used to <laughs> bend the plants then they did not bring the plants on time from germination to uh, trans uh, 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 transplantation so germination 15 days adre they used to not correctly transplant it hmm. they used to make a problem again nobody's mistake it says somebody should keep guiding them one one step no hmm. so it took me very difficult to first understand how germination is second transplanting properly uh, making sure water is given to the right nutrients um, it plays important to f- go each step by step we were struggling with all of this and then luckily we transplanted palak spinach akadvi within 10 days we got to see problems with spinach yellow leaves uh, pythium disease all this started to come and uh, one of the reasons why we found out was again all of this is research 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 we found out that it is because of uh, heat issues and uh, water temperature more now heat is not in your control you can put foggers and somehow bring it down but that's the max you can go because nam the fan padala normal uh, uh, this one so bangalore temperature now we expect a made illa certain things it will go so we assumed it will be around 30 so we thought fan pad is not required fogger will solve it fogger to an extent brings it down but how do we deal with the under what i mean water temperature issue and that is something you have to again think differently you have to you know think if you have to put some ices inside it bring the temperature down so there are thousand problems and i think uh, pretty much at that stage around uh, after root rot only i reached out to guru saying maybe i might doing something wrong so and then we changed the system we changed the seeds we changed the method in which we are growing these things and things got better it was only during that phase of april may was not good for us june yeah. july normal ago it and yeah. things got much better so patience is important in this yeah. understanding e seasonally the is it the right thing to do or is it not the best thing and let's go for something little more uh, stronger plants and that decision they get it's very important true true yeah heat heat plays a major role and uh, i mean as he said rightfully the we are we are looking from the top right actually the root cause was uh, the water was uh, heating up so right. when the water is heating up and we are giving water from the top and uh, he started having a fungus problem also because yes. of too much of uh, you know uh, water being deposited on the leaves and also uh, it was not allowing it to tr- uh, transpire right it was not losing water you know then it will right. not suck any water and on top of it there is a root rot so there was right. multiple problems right <laughs> 100% so, and we keep we keep thinking about you know let us increase the tds let us in- increase the ph and nothing will work because the roots are dead so <laughs> yeah nice precisely and that is uh, that is something that we had to learn the hard way like oh yeah yeah uh, first the step starts from germination itself how much careful we are in germination determines how the plant True. will be doing good over a period of time so germination time if people study more meaning they observe these plants from the start understanding how it is reacting how the sun is trying to you know help them or not help them idanella starting in the nodkondo we keep track of it and when we transplant we honestly try to observe is very important day in day out uh, we cannot see it one day and expect next five days not to see it at the it doesn't work like that we <clears> need <throat> to spend <throat> time <clears throat> and uh, one of the reasons that nobody else will do and that only supervisor or somebody who's accountable will do right. somebody you trust that he will do it or you have to trust yourself that you and he should do it every day and right. that is the biggest challenge that uh, that becomes very critical that somebody sees observes the plants every day and right. something we didn't do or we couldn't do was that because i used to stay in bangalore i used to go every alternate day and one day if i don't go and nobody observes it i could see changes happening mm-hmm. so i had to track it every day without fail to understand if uh, you know if we can change something that is that is a challenge we had great great points um amale ali you should be there you know someone should be there that's very important you know uh, you cannot just 
uh, depend on the employees so the thing that's what somebody we learned, yeah. somebody is uh, i mean at least somebody who's accountable nan nodkontini nan i think i love see some, only with passion for mm. plans is when this will come uh, there's no point in forcing people to see the plans True. somebody should honestly try and understand how the plant is reacting yeah. if it is yeah. trying to fall or is it becoming a low or is it trying to have some condition uh, right. it's very important we observe it uh, right. and it it's very very critical that we take notes of it and right. you know track it at least find out out of 100 plants take 10 plants and watch the 10 plans how it is randomly decide those 10 plans and watch it and that will give you a good understanding of it absolutely absolutely so i mean the color color itself will show you you know what what is going it will give you very clearly and <laughs> yeah. there is no doubt <laughs> plant will make sure that you know this is a problem yeah yeah and i i remember there was one more uh, challenge that uh, we faced you know like um, uh, he wanted to grow two things right you know in uh, he has four tanks and uh, in Correct. one of the systems uh, which which capacity is around 8000 plants i remember Correct. Correct. so we wanted to grow both palak and lettuce and both both requirement is different right yeah the tpm uh, changes and everything yeah we used to have you know burns you know if we increase the tds and uh, you know deficiency Correct. in palak if we, we don't so such challenges Th- that that is very critical see i think commercial way of uh, doing farming is yeah. different compared to how we test it with a small right. uh, research meaning right. we can take 200 plants and test it in our house and how the 200 plants in bidyato we can't expect the same way when it comes right. to 35000 plants correct uh, the, it changes a lot a lot of things uh, differs in that so mm. it's very important that we understand to s- use this ppm or let's say uh, you know the ph values or the tds and all based on plants and collaborate them with very minimal changes meaning so right. at one point we all decided so palak needs 1200 but lettuces need only 800 but we are keeping we have both in the same uh, machine yeah. <laughs> or let's say we have same in the same uh, nft pipes so how is it possible that it will how can we tell one plant to take less another plant to take more we can't <laughs> yeah so we decided uh, let's keep it at 900 and let's see what happens and to an extent we were successful meaning mm. we did not have a uh, great growth but we found out that it's coming close to 100 grams uh, i'm saying lettuce and palak is also decently growing mm. so we dis- we locked that 900 and we kept on doing with that mm. like guru said if at all if i'd have moved it separately and given lettuce what is required and palak what is required i might have had a better growth but mm. the problem was commercially you can't play that game because you only have certain limit of space and you only have certain limit of timeline given to you in 35 40 days i have to give the customer so i have to be knowing how to do that without uh, wasting time so okay. this was a very big challenge for us to understand what to keep how much tds to keep so that's when guru and all you know made a lot of difference for us in terms of understanding these things and you know after that we managed it we were able to grow quite a yeah. few things thank you 